As the water crashed over me, I sensed a change. It was night, and above, a bright full moon hung dangerously low, as if to consume me. I panicked, I flailed, I fought against the darkness below me. The thrust of my legs propelled me closer to the surface, but something was dragging me down. I burst, gasping through the surface of what appeared to be a swimming pool, but my legs wouldn't stop kicking. Attached to them were a series of wires and adhesive pads, triggering the muscles to kick. I ripped them off, and they sank. Okay, so we have five. And so it's something, it has something to do with electricity from what I can see. I don't quite know what this image is supposed to show or uh, or even what's quite happening in the image. Um, what does symbol A represent in this device? Let's just play this As and then the I'm gonna... As the water crashed over me, I sensed a change. It was night. And above, a bright full moon hung dangerously low, as if to consume me. I panicked, I flailed, I fought against the darkness below me. The thrust of my legs propelled me closer to the surface, but something was dragging me down. I burst, gasping through the surface of what appeared to be a swimming pool, but my legs wouldn't stop kicking. Attached to them were a series of wires and adhesive pads, triggering the muscles to kick. I ripped them off, and they sank. Okay, my printer just started going. <laughs> Do we have something instead of... Here we go. This is probably a lot easier, or at least better, I should say. So we're looking for two solid lines, and I can't remember... See, this just says capacitor right here. But they're not connected, so... Resistor? Like... What does symbol A represent? Fuse. Bus. Interesting. This is a symbol for a microphone. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So we saw see also resistor. Okay. No, this is what a resistor looks like. So maybe it is a capacitor? That's a transformer. Because the closest symbol that I can see... Because we have this... Wait, but then... See, this one makes me think... So what is A? What, what does symbol A represent in this device? Danger high voltage, and again, the image in the back. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't have any recollection of what that is. Um, I don't quite see it here, unless it's supposed to be this, in, rather than just the two lines, but also everything together. Iron core inductor. Okay. Iron core inductor. I'm just going to write that down. Iron core inductor. Um, cause, and let's just see. And then, cause yeah, these, the D itself is inductor. I don't know if C is also meant to be the same thing, but we have the two lines there. And this is, where is it? This is the closest thing that I can tell. Uh, the inductor is an electrical component that stores energy in a magnetic field. The inductor is made of a coil of conducting wire. Iron core conductor. So what am I looking at? Am I looking at someone's name? I don't see anything that starts with an I, so it's not iron core conductor. Okay, let's see, iron core conductor. Mm -hmm. Iron core conductor. I 
if I look in, <laughs> I'm afraid to look in images in case <laughs> you never know what type of things images might pull up just randomly. Because I remember seeing something it's like, never look up so-and-so and then the word stuff. I'm not going to say what the word is and I never personally looked it up because I just, when someone says don't do it, besides what my curiosity wants to do, I, I'll, I won't. But it looked like the most, it looked like the most like innocent thing and then apparently it can get some interesting results. So, <laughs> Iron Core Conductor didn't really... Did I search that right? That's my question. Sorry, iron core inductor. That's why I got it wrong. I put conductor, it's inductor. Did I keep saying conductor the entire time? Great, great. No. Iron core inductor. <laughs> A ferromagnetic core. Let's jump to that. Ferromagnetic core or, or iron core inductors use a magnetic core made up of ferromagnetic or ferromagnetic material such as iron or ferrite to increase the inductance. A magnetic core can increase the inductance of a coil by a factor of several thousands by increasing the magnetic field due to its higher magnetic permeability. However, the magnetic property of the core material causes several side effects which alter the behavior of the inductor and require special construction. Okay. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Let's jump to the top. So the other word that we've got here, oh shoot. I didn't need to jump to the top. Where am I going? Where did I find it? Air core inductor? There's quite a few, I have to say. So, a ferromagnetic core. And let's just look at the images. Sorry. No, no, yeah, no, this is where See, I can't tell looking at that. I don't imagine ferromagnetic is what I'm looking for here. <laughs> what happens if it's just electricity? Elec... Elec. Unless it's electric, something electric. So I can see the word elect. Ele I don't see an I though. I see nothing that starts with an I. Electric and this is there unless I'm spelling this wrong, also a possibility. Uh I mean but we're also looking for something that's five words. Do we have any way? Do we even have a Y at the end of anything? Because it's not electricity, then that's actually one thing I should look at. There's a P I, P P I, P Y. So it's not electricity. Uh, I don't know. I don't think electric is an option because I don't see anything with an I, I followed by C. So it's not that. Let me just erase the board here. Electromagnetic, 
E Lek Cause the lock talked about love about electro elect tro anything else electromagnet I should say but no don't see it a ferromagnetic core so I tried to look up ferromagnetic, but I didn't see it. Magnetic core. Ferro. But either way, we don't have an MAG. Or any combination of that. Is there even a G in here? Now that I look for it. G, 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 L, P, E. No. So, oh wait, there's a G here, but then that's followed by the N. It's NG. Which I need it flipped around. Uh huh. Okay. Now, what is this? What is this picture? That's the question. What is this machine here? Because I'm guessing it has to do something with that. With the... I mean, I could very well be wrong that it's not has nothing to do with... with the ferromagnetic core inductor. But... <laughs> or iron core inductor. I already looked up iron core, right? Iron... Ferrite core. Wouldn't it be lovely if the picture just suddenly. Oh, look, that picture on the side looks very familiar. Hey. Okay, let's have a look back at the little, our table over here and see. No, was this? Sorry. That's because I kept spelling things wrong. So iron core inductor. That's what I thought it was. Let's have a look back at the image. But didn't have the two. I don't know if it matters to have the two things on the side. So maybe that's not it. Maybe instead of this side, that you're looking on this side. So what is... See if I can. So we have what's this? The there's that symbol. Let's look what that is. Maybe, maybe not. Mm hmm. Voltmeter, amp meter. So I'm curious. Is that some type of meter? Okay, so that is, that's just the AC voltage source. And I don't think the circles at the end mean anything. Is there anything else? Let's look for a different site to see if they will give us the same result. It's accumulator. That's the inductor. Surge protector. Magnet core. Okay. Magnet core. Is this a uh, GN? Let's try that. So, wait, but there's no, <laughs> there's no, is there just a singular N here? Let's 
No. Ugh. I don't imagine core. Can I make core up? Is this there's O R here, but unless there's a singular E, that will not come into play. Okay, let's see if I got, I have three more hints. Three more hints. If I use them more. Pictorial representation in the schematic diagram. Okay, well that part we got. Symbolism of electrician. Circuit symbols. Okay, so it has okay, so we know it's got to do with the circuit symbols. What does symbol A represent in this device? Well, it, it displays a magnetic core. Problem is, we can spell out GN. No, no. Oh, I keep it. It's NG. Ah. Oh. So either I got the symbol wrong. Which is the most... Probably the most likely. Okay, that's not it. Surge protector. Transductor. The resistors like that. What's a what's a transformer look like? Does it have a transformer here? I think I already seen it, but I don't see it. Just not here. Okay, let's go back, go back to rapid tables. No, it doesn't, oh, that's why. Oh, here we go, oh, so it's a transformer. Okay, so I did get symbols wrong, hide away. Where's A? Transformer. Robots in disguise. Okay. Retard, retards muscle atrophy. Electrotherapy. Oh, wonderful. Desperate fear, not valor, surged into me as light bled and faded from the entire room. My shadow threw the odd doctor to the floor in front of me. She screamed like a banshee and dove towards me. I flailed for something, anything to help me. My left hand landed in the unlit fire, only to feel the intense heat as it roared to life. I grasped a red hot coal in my fist. The pain was exhilarating, and I sobbed as my fist and the coal passed into my shadow's chest. She fell over, smoldering slowly from the hole I left. I watched orange fire consume my vision, and then I woke. Both he and his brother wear a crown of poppies, yet his effect will soon, will sooner leave your body. We have three. There's that. I don't know what that is, and there's that. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. Both he and his brother wear a crown of poppies. Both he and his brother wear a crown of poppies. What's that? Yeah, his effects will sooner leave your body. His effects will sooner leave your body. It brings us to the forum, but <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Are you wearing your poppies correctly? That's okay. Both he and his brother wear a crown of poppies. Sorry, let me listen. 
Desperate fear, not valor, surged into me as light bled and faded from the entire room. My shadow threw the odd doctor to the floor in front of me. She screamed like a banshee and dove towards me. I flailed for something, anything to help me. My left hand landed in the unlit fire, only to feel the intense heat as it roared to life. I grasped a red hot coal in my fist. The pain was exhilarating, and I sobbed as my fist and the coal passed into my shadow's chest. She fell over, smoldering slowly from the hole I left. I watched orange fire consume my vision, and then I woke. You know what? I think I actually remember this one from my first time playing through. This is, I think this is it. The Bullfinch Mythology, The Age of Fable. Now belong. Great. Uh, is this going to work? Okay, good. It will work. As he lay, she steeped and gathered some poppies into the cottage. I think we are... I think... I think I remember hypnosis. Is that what I'm looking for? Where, why am I? It's not something to do with. Uh, is it Greek God? Of dreams or is it sleep? Hip hypnos. I think, because I remember from last time when I did this. Though I got, I, th I, 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 like I was reading a book, or look, it took me to. Uh, he had a preview for a, a certain section of a book. So in the Greek mythology, Hypnos is the son of the Nyx in Erebus, the darkness. His brother is Thana Thanatos. Both siblings in the underworld, so hip nose. Let's try that. Just because. Uh, I guess that's hip nose? What is. Assuming if I'm remembering correctly. Where's a P? That's P. Okay. Yeah, so physical inactivity, interesting. Sleep. I rushed down a hallway towards two large wooden doors, but I felt my shadow fly towards me across the old walls in the dim light. I burst into a room filled with shelves upon shelves of books, an unlit fireplace and a large leather chair on which sat a bearded man with dark eyes and skin the texture of an old photo. He stood and returned to my stare. Something about his eyes made me crash forward, drowsy. My shadow soared over me to attack the strange man. Okay, he was the first to coin the medical term. Now I'm going to assume this is because Phantom of the Opera. This is going to be the Phantom Limb. So let's go for that. Phantom Limb Pain or Syndrome. But we're looking for the man who coined the term. Mechanism... Was there recent research? Okay, phantom limb is a sensation that an amputated or missing limb is still attached. Approximately, approximately 60 to 80% of individuals with an amputation experience phantom sensations in their amputated limb, and the majority of the sensations are painful. Phantom sensations may occur after the removal of body parts other than the limbs, other than limbs, after amputation of breasts, extraction of tooth. Interesting, I never heard that one, extraction of a tooth. Okay, let's see if I can find the man who apparently first coined this term. By the late 1980s, R Ronald Meckles had recognized that the peripheral neuroma account could not be corrected. In his 1989 paper, Phantom Limbs, the Self and the Brain, Malzik proposed the hypothesis of the neuromatrix. According to Malzik, the experience of the body is created by a wide network, wide network of interconnecting neural structures. Okay, so his name is Ronald Melzik. 
Milzak. And we have one, two, three, four. Or is it just looking for, am I just looking, here's, here's what I'm wondering. Am I just inputting a last name here? Because it's just, I'm gonna assume it's either a first name or a last name. Now, I don't see, nothing starts with an R, so I'm not gonna, yeah, there's R-I, but that does not spell Ronald. So let's go with his last name, I guess. Unless I got the wrong person. Uh, is there even a Z, actually, now that I'm looking at it? He was the first to coin the medical term. I don't... True. Hey, I don't see anything... Okay. We know it's Phantom Limb. Phantom Limb. Just trying to figure out. Phantom Limb Pain, a complex phenomena. So I don't imagine just looking at anything that starts with the P, but okay, so it definitely can't be Phantom Limb. I think it would be pretty dumb if it was Phantom Limb, Phantom, just because it's right there. But the guy, that's recent research. Corn by the late nineteen eighties. Is a Canadian psychologist and I don't emeritus professor of psychology at McGill University. He in nineteen sixty five. He and Patrick David Wall revolutionized pain research by introducing the gate control theory. During the 1970s, questionnaires received a number of honors. Uh, after studying for his PhD in 1954, uh, he began to work with patients who suffered from phantom limb pain. People who feel phantom limb. Okay. Study of pain. Phantom limb. Well, this is what we got here. But it's not really... Unless I missed it. Where's M? There's M-I. So what am I missing here? We have... It's a four-letter thing. And they're all, except for one, they're majority all two. So four times two is eight. Hmm. I, uh, huh. Because it's... Unless, wait, who's the picture of the guy... Maybe, did he coin the term or? Who coined phantom limb? <laughs> that. Oh, here we go. Oh, phantom pain, interesting. Phantom pain sensations are described as perceptions than individual experience. So, the, okay, first coined by American new, neurologist Silas. Okay, so this is someone completely different, Silas Ware Mitchell. I have an innumerable amount of choices. So let's try Mitchell, since that's the longest. M-I, so, 
H E L L. There we go.